All right, here we go. So this is Pacific Raceways uh, number five, I think, and uh, or four, four. Pacific Raceways number four. It's a little bit rainy today, as you can see. We're going to do the uh, escape route, which is the version of this course with the hill. Um, oh yeah, lens wipe, slash laugh. I want you guys to be able to sort of see what's going on, but we'll see that camera gets water on it anyway. So this race was dominated by Fount. Fount brought out a ton of riders for this race. Um, it was points per lap, and they did a great job of getting maximum points during this race. Um, let's see. The uh, Liquid Velo guys, that's the uh, black and green kit, uh, also have a pretty good showing here, and they're looking really strong. Um, they're all moving towards the front as we uh, come through this final lap. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh yeah, at the bottom of this hill, there's a pothole. Apparently that took out a quarter of the field. Um, it's like right in the middle of the road, like right here. You can't even see it. Like there's nothing, nothing visible there. I couldn't even tell you where that was. In the field. Um, but it will wreck you. It's like a hard pothole. So apparently right behind me right now, like a quarter of the field is on the ground. Um, but I don't know anything. I don't hear anything because I am trying to go fast on my bicycle. So my, my goal coming up this hill on the last lap is to stay really close to the front. I want to be able to respond to any surge that looks like it's going to go to the line. Um, right now we've got this rider who is a little bit off the front. I think that's a fount rider, can't remember. Um, but it's not too terribly threatening. Um, we still have this last part of the climb to go up and it looks like it's going to be brought back. Uh, and I'm not in too bad position. I'm a little bit too close to the front, but on the hill, I don't mind being closer to the front. You know, right. so if something goes, I can respond. But here, a uh, fount goes on the right side here, and I just, I just wasn't ready to go with him. Um, you know, here I'm grabbing onto an Audi rider. This guy, this guy's pretty strong. He closed down a lot of, a lot of uh, the brakes during the race, and he generally shows up really strong. So I figure like he's a pretty good person to pull me. Towards the end, I was happy to get on his wheel, um, but his uh, teammate right behind me yells yells up really hard, telling him to like get moving. And I'm like, let's let's let this guy pull through. You know, I don't want to I don't want to be in the Audi train. I'm already too close to the front. Uh, this is this is not the best position to be in. I figured that more people were gonna come up at the top of the hill, that some sort of attack would go, that people wouldn't want to let this guy just go up the road. Uh, but you can see that's exactly what we're doing here. Um, and so my, to my left now is the fount lead out. Um, I think that's trending on the uh, the red bike. He's a pretty strong sprinter. This uh, this guy from Liquid Velo in front of me comes up, and he looks pretty strong. But I I don't know if I've ever sprinted against him before. I don't recognize him. Um, and I'm getting elbows really hard here from the Gene Johnson rider to my left. Probably the hardest elbows I've ever done in a race. Uh, just feeling squeezed up against the wall. Here we are in the final straightaway, and. I'm ready to roll. So first thing that happens is the road is clogged, and I'm like looking for an opening, looking for an opening, like, ah, can I fit through here? Ah, can I fit through here? Um, and finally an opening happens, but there's some terrible sketch happening here, so I actually kind of sit, sat down before the line. I, uh, I didn't quite want to, uh, to put my head down and go all out because I wasn't quite sure what was going to happen on the right there. I'll get you a a slow-mo in a sec here so I can talk to you about what I saw and why it, why it sketched me out. I ended up coming in third, which isn't too bad of a placing. The Liquid Velo guy ended up getting it, which you'll see is like super impressive in a second. Yeah, so here's a slow-mo of what happened here. So watch the Liquid Velo rider. He's like going up to the right, trying to get around Trenton and his sweeper, whose name I think is Sean. Those are the two fault riders in front of me. And there's room on the right, but it's pretty tight. Um, there's this fount rider that's coming back, um, like an anchor that the field needs to go around. Um, but this liquid veil rider, he's getting jammed up against the wall, like just jammed against the wall. And he needs to move out because there's a bunch of cones up there. Like the, the finish line is actually to the left. And how far are these guys going to move over? I have like no idea. And so that's why I'm like super sketched out. I didn't know if they were going to, be doing elbows right up into the line or what? Um, it's a shame because I think I I think I could have probably uh, put in a pretty good dig there and uh, 
maybe uh, gotten a better placing, but oh well, everybody stayed upright and I get to go to work today.